But you need to know it's a slippery slope, you know. Um, and the, the tricky part about it is, is you can find this in Ukraine. You can find a single mom with a 30 year age spread, right, that would marry you. Hey guys, welcome back to He Said, She Said, episode two. So we're going to call this episode, Are you fishing to catch and keep? Or catch and release. Super important guys, if you're coming to Ukraine, looking for your other half, looking for love, you got to know what you're looking for and then you've got to fish in the right pond. Right, Elena? Yes, guys. When you come to Ukraine, you got to know that dating can be just like fishing. In fact, in a lot of respects, it is like fishing, right? You, if you're going to go fishing for um, rainbow trout, fresh water versus mahi-mahi, uh, one's in Mexico and one's in the lake, the freshwater lake, right? Different places to go fishing to catch yeah. uh, the fish you're looking for. And certainly different taste of the fish as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The fish are completely different. I mean, what we see a lot of our clients doing is they tell us, you know, Yes, I want to find a good wife that will uh, love me for least, love me for me, so love-based relationship, and she will be with me till death do us part. Yet they go fishing for a trophy wife. They're completely unrealistic. Yeah, and sometimes you can do it consciously or unconsciously. It's a good point. Um, you know, sometimes you might not even realize that uh, you want your cake and eat it too, and. And guys, you can't have your cake and eat it too. It's either one or another. Yeah, I mean, anything's possible. Never say never, as they say in Ukraine, but it's highly improbable that you're gonna, you know, catch the trophy wife and she's gonna love you uh, for you, not your money, doesn't care how much money you have, and she's gonna be with you till death do you part. I mean, anything's possible, but we're talking about probability here. So, Elena, on this point of uh, you can't have your cake and eat it too. Let's talk about one uh, client that we're both thinking of. Uh, let's call him Tom because we haven't had a client named Tom. So uh, it's a real client, but we're calling him Tom. Now, Elena, do you want to tell the story of Tom? Tom came to Ukraine and he said us that he wants wife for the rest of his life. He's not into catch and release. He's not into playing games, you know, he's mature enough. And in fact, we saw him going to the different pond. He was doing totally different from what he actually planned, which means he was probably doing it unconsciously, but he didn't realize it. So we tried to guide him in the right direction and tell him, hey, look, this is not you, what you told us. You might catch the fish, but God knows what it's going to be like, right? <laughs> but he wouldn't listen, you know, he was just, Keep going. Yeah, keep fishing in the wrong uh, pond. He went uh, deep water fishing in the Pacific Ocean uh, for the trophy marlin, right? Uh, but really, uh, he told us he wants a nice uh, rainbow trout over here. And and so what happened to Tom is, uh, was he successful so far? Uh, well, he caught the mermaid and, you know, everything was fine. You know, he <laughs> went back home and after that, for some time, for some reason, the communication get less, less, and less, which means, I don't know, could be his fault. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it looks like it's fizzled out because, yeah. you know, he won the rainbow trout and he went uh, big game fishing for the, the mermaid, as Alina said. So, you know, using Tom as an example of what a man says, uh, you know, he needs to take actions commensurate with, with what he wants, you know, uh, what he really wants. So important to know on point number two, know what you really want, guys. That's super important, right? If, you, if, if you're walking, right, and your head is facing this way, you're going in this direction. But the problem is if your head's facing this way and you're walking this way, pretty hard to walk in this direction when your head's facing this way. So that's a big, big reason that our clients would fail is that... Um, they're fishing in the wrong pond. In other words, they're ch chasing the wrong skirt, you could put it in another way. And I know guys, men are suckers for beauty, so yep. sometimes you don't realize that you're going to the wrong pond, but it, and you've been brainwashed by all these dating agencies and supermodel-looking girls in Ukraine and Russia and Eastern Europe. But you have to understand that what you see is not what you get. It's true. We, uh, us guys, are a real sucker for the beauties, and um, it's 
not too difficult to be saying, you know, okay, I want this over here, um, you know, I want the real deal uh, wife, good girl as I call it, but yet you go fishing in the Pacific for the uh, trophy wife. So guys, you just really need to know what you want and be aware uh, of which pond you're fishing in. And these mermaids guys on this side, they're gonna take you with their nets for <laughs> How should I say it? Well, they're going to take you to the cleaners, right? To the cleaners. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's what happens more often than not, guys. We hear the scam stories every day. I mean, our highest scam story came in just a couple of weeks ago. You heard uh, Vita and I talking on the last uh, video. 125000 all in over a number of years, but that's a guy that's just not getting the lesson, right? Uh, and, and, and you just need to be aware. Um, how I guess the catch and release fish uh, behaves versus the catch and keep fish. Uh, why don't we get into that, Elena? Yeah, and let me before we get into okay. that, let me tell you this, guys, that the the twenty year old hot young good looking thing in Ukraine or Russia or whatever you might look, she's got no problem finding a boyfriend. She's studying or she goes out, she works out, she's got a lot of friends. If she's pretty or long and lean, that the one that you look at, you know, she's got no problem. She doesn't need to find somebody who is her dad age somewhere in Australia and in America. It's just she doesn't need it simply. Yeah, she doesn't need it. First of all, it's a myth that uh, age doesn't matter, that uh, the young, young hot thing doesn't mind to marry uh, a man her father's age. Complete myth, guys. It's just not reality. You've been brainwashed again. Right, Elena? Yeah. In fact, recently we had a comment on YouTube videos. One of the guys, he said, okay, if the situation, because in, in our previous episode we talked about uh, hard economic situation in Ukraine. So he said, okay, if, if the situation is that bad, so what's her problem? Why can't she settle down with some 20 or 30 year old guy from the West? Well, problem is she can, but do you need it? She can settle down with you, no problem. I think probably yeah, some of them, you know, adventurous type, they will. But uh, the question is, do you need it? So guys, we're actually going to read the comment from this Bob, uh, Bob Hull. Uh, it's a pseudonym name, it's not his real name, so we feel comfortable uh, talking about this. This is the elephant in the room we're taking head on here, guys, because it's so important that you understand how flawed his thought process is here. I mean, he's believing the myth here. He swallowed the red pill from the matrix, you know, and he can't seem to come back. And we see so many guys that get stuck after swallowing the red pill, you know, and if you do that, you're not going to be successful. So uh, go ahead, Alina, let's read this comment from YouTube. Okay, the Bob Hall says, this is why I don't understand if a woman there cannot find a good faithful man, especially in her thirties, and she has no child or may have a child, why would she say no to a man who is good, loving, faithful, works in a good shape, and has a good family values just because he might be 20, to 30 years older. The also Ashi is not going to find a man and be lonely anyway. So Elena, what would you say to Bob Hall's, uh, his comment there? What's your opinion on that? I've personally seen a lot of videos Girls, our girls, Ukrainian, Russian, they talk badly about Ukrainian men. They all drink, they don't work, they're lazy, they just slide at home on the sofa um, uh, drinking beer. And I respectfully disagree. We have a lot of good men, hardworking, in shape, good looking, smart, you know, business oriented, honest. None of them, are, all of them are cheaters or anything like this. So I think we can find a man in here. We're not desperate, you know, the Ukrainian. Girls and women, we're not desperate. It might be harder sometimes, you know, with kids, with personality, with character, everybody's different, but it doesn't mean that you have no choice, you're desperate, and you gotta settle down with someone 20 or 30 years older. Yeah, some, so, sometimes it's a choice, but uh, it's not a necessity. It can be a choice for someone. Yeah. Uh, I have so much to say back to Bob here. Where do I even begin? First of all, Bob, um, I, I think the first thing that, that uh, I find offensive, honestly, about this comment is that this to me seems like a victimization mindset. You know, you're looking for a victim girl in Ukraine that, that doesn't mind a 30 or 40 year age spread. Listen, give your head a shake. You gotta know that's not real love. That's a desperate girl that's maybe from the village that's financially down and out, that can't take care of her child, for example, can't feed her or him, the child, can't pay the, the utility bill, 
you know, in, in, in January. It's true. There's single moms that uh, wear sweaters and their kids are in sweaters because they can't pay the heat bill in January. So that's the first thing. It seems to me you have a victimization uh, mindset. Um, the second thing I completely concur with Elena uh, in, in that there's a lot of good men in Ukraine. Uh, the distinguishment I would add to that is that the, the women in Ukraine tell me that after the age of, say, 30, uh, when, the, when the lady is 30, the good, eligible bachelors, uh, that pool has dried up, especially with the war on and approximately 40,000 Ukrainian men dead as a result of the, the current war. I mean, the pool of good men is getting smaller and smaller. Now, that said, I would also say this. Ukrainian woman is a strong woman. Many call her the superwoman. Uh, most that I talk to call her stronger than the Ukrainian man. She has to be strong. So most Ukrainian women, especially the good girls, they're not gonna sell out for marrying her dad, you know, or her grandfather, if you will, you know, with a 30, 40 year spread. Um, she's gonna just get by with whatever she can. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with you, Joya. Mm -hmm. And I know I have them as a girlfriend, as my neighbors, as someone I know, my acquaintances. Yeah, I know a lot of examples like this. They struggle, but they get by, you know. We call our video production company Raw and Real Productions for a reason because we take these elephant in the room topics and take them head on. Nobody wants to talk like we do, but this is the raw and real truth, guys, coming from the Ukrainian woman's perspective yeah. and the Western man's perspective. Yeah, in fact, let me tell you this. I had a client once, and uh, he actually, he wasn't a client, but he was interesting to become a client. And he said, you know, I tried my luck in Ukraine and Russia and they blah, 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 they all have the money. So what are they gonna do? I'm gonna go to Thailand or Mexico on poor sort of zones or areas. I'm gonna find myself a wife there. I mean, I'm sorry guys, but this is it's just unhuman to think this way. I'm really sorry. You don't, you know, I know you, you know, you, you probably have a better life in the West than East, you know, but uh, stay human, you know, you can't buy people because you have a little bit more money or better life than others. It's just not, not fair, you know, how, how cruel to say this way about women. Whether she's from Thailand or Mexico or Ukraine, come on, who are you, you know? <laughs> it's the victim mindset, yeah. right? Back to the victim yeah, mindset. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very bad, you know? <laughs> and, and guys, it's a slippery slope, I get it. I'm a fellow dude, right? I get it. Once you've had, you know, a younger girl, uh, you know, it's a slippery slope. It's, it's hard to be attracted to, you know, a, a woman uh, older, <laughs> you know, closer to your age. I get it. But you need to know, it's a slippery slope, you know? Um, and... The, the tricky part about it is, is you can find this in Ukraine. You can find a single mom with a 30-year age spread, right, that would marry you. But just don't delude yourself. Don't, you know, swallow the red pill and, and, and delude yourself to believing that she loves you for you, not your money, not what you provide, right, and that she will be with you till death do you part. If that's what you really want, don't delude yourself into, uh, you know, fooling yourself into believing that because it's not... True, it's not true. So again, back to, it really is up to you to know what you want. Know where your values are, know what's most important to you. Um, you know, I will say, I know Western men that live in Ukraine that have a good girl with a 30 year age spread, you know, even more than 30 years. And in some cases it can be a real relationship. So don't you guys beat us up on the YouTube comments by saying, oh, I know so-and-so and they have a great, yes, listen, but you need to know it's the exception, not the rule. And it's a thin <laughs> exception. Yeah. And usually it's the man that has come, he's really manned up and he is a strong man, okay? Uh, and he's living in Ukraine and he's providing for the family, even her parents he's providing for, no. Uh, her child. Child, parents. Um, so it can be, but you gotta know your chances are so thin of, of actually pulling that, out, that off. Yeah. You know, and you, and if, you, if you have any chance of pulling that off, you need to be a strong man and you need to have uh, significant financial means to be able to you know, take care of everyone in her family. Let's not forget, not everybody can come and find himself 30 years younger girl. You know, you gotta have good look, you know, good charisma, good personality, good character. You, you have to be serious, generous, you know, hardworking and all of that, you know. So it's not, it's not as easy as it looks like. Maybe some of your friends, they have it, but you know, it takes them a little bit more than just coming and, you know, getting it like this. And Elena, you forgot one 
very key ingredient, the fat wallet. You're going to need the fat wallet also. Usually, but not always, not always. Not always. Okay, guys, on the last point, we're going to discuss the behavior of the fishy. You know, the good one, <laughs> the as bad one. Third episode is going to be about how any man can get the girl of his dreams.